that's a tough one, man. That's above my pay grade on this one because I mean, some guys that I, I mean, those places that have done that, um, I know cer certain guys that they say they weigh you first right when you get there, right? Well, all right, the guy's not around for about an hour. He's cutting now earlier in the week just to make the pre-week weight cut. You know, just that's what's going to probably happen is the guy's going to be, oh, shit, I'm over. I'm going to lose this fight. I'm not going to go see the, the commission until I go cut some weight now that I just got off the flight, make this weight, rebound up a little bit, you know, try to do the training throughout the week, hover where they need to be at, and then do a real cut later. So, you know, where there's guys trying to make new rules, there's guys constantly trying to break them, and uh, it's going to be a balance. But, yeah, I got nothing on that one right now. It would be nice if everyone just made a truce. Um, yeah, maybe if you miss, you just you lose like 40 to 50 percent instead of 20 to 30. I'm not sure how good the system is they're using in uh, in Asia, uh, where they're taking like hydration samples and stuff. But if there are any good methods, that that might be good to uh, to have. So people can't cut too much uh, weight, basically. Um, that, that that could also be an option. But I like Alessandra's uh, suggestion there. That was a good one. I think I think um, there should be a consistent um, purse deduction if you miss weight and the fight goes on, and if if you miss weight repetitively, I think it's fine for the commission to step in. You know, if you you miss weight your second time, maybe it's a, a larger uh, it's a larger um, purse deduction. You know, three times, maybe you get a suspension for a longer or uh you're forced to move up a weight class um you know because I, I mean promoters shouldn't want to work with these guys anyway so if you can't make weight like it it, it ruins your card it ruins the betting lines it, it screws a lot of things up so you should you know maybe even just cut guys i think the weighing in the morning has been good for just recovery you know because when you think about people damaging themselves for the weight cut we used to not like the point is recovering from that damage and you know now we have enough time to which sometimes on the other hand the argument would be it makes the weight cuts more severe because people are going to have more time to recover so they're just going to be like oh i'm going to cut all the way down and have 30 hours or whatever to recover but my whole take on it is like people are going to miss weight no matter what because it's an individual thing it's not a system it's not a system that's like wrong it's it's an individual thing. I mean, how many times have you seen someone miss weight at a weight class, go up a weight class and miss weight again? You know, um, you can weigh in in the morning, you can weigh in in the afternoon, you can weigh in at night, you can make a weight class five pounds heavier, five pounds lighter, one in between. The people that are going to miss weight are going to miss weight because they lack discipline. And that's at the end of the day what it is to me. Um, but when they do, I think there could be some some better um, consequences. Um, more money is always gonna, you know, help out the other person that's on the wrong side of that. And I love, 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 love the point being taken away because that's just, I mean, that is an illegal foul. You're starting at an, at an advantage. You know, it shouldn't. It should be a handicap for them. Um, I love the point being uh, taken away, and I think those are all moves in the right direction. But it's all—it's going to be a hard thing to solve in general, like I said, because people are always going to try to take it too far. No, not at all. I mean, at the end of the day, like we're all—we're all professionals. We're all adults. We should be able to know what weight class is uh, is good for us and go with it. Um, I think the one thing that can actually change is putting a stricter penalty. I mean, um, some guys might actually count it where it's like. Uh, you know what? I'm only gonna lose 20% of my purse, but I'm gonna win this fight anyway. So I'm gonna take my chance and just blow weight on this one uh, and see what happens. I think a stricter penalty uh, would definitely be um, something that would kind of prevent a lot of guys from taking those drastic weight cuts. I mean, um, even in Kevin Gaston case where you blew you blew weight three times at welterweight, so I was like, you know what? You're now officially middleweight. Like you can't make the welterweight limit. You're middleweight now. Go ahead and move up. There's no. Um, chance of you ever going back down to welterweight, at least not in the UFC. Um, and that's just something that has to happen. I mean, not just for um, the, the sake of the, his opponents, but for his safety as well. I mean, um, fighters are stubborn. We're going to try to do some things that um, people tell us we can't do time and time again. So um, having those stricter penalties, having the uh, um, commission in UFC step in when a guy continues to blow weight repeatedly, I think is the best way to go about it.
You know, I've never thought about that. I don't think that there should be stricter rules necessarily on like, I don't think they should come weigh you because there's ways to cheat that. I don't think they, it should, it should definitely be on the fighters themselves to make weight and to do it safely and successfully. Um, taking the point is really That's interesting. That's a cool idea. Yeah. I've never thought about that either. But if you, who, who told, is, is who said it? Tanya. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a, I cool, like that. that's a cool idea. If you yeah. miss, I mean, ultimately, the way I'm like a snap, like my snap judgment says that's a great idea because most, if you look statistically, the fighters who miss weight and still get to fight, statistically, they're winning. Or yeah, the fight. It's a, it's a really high statistic. So either, you know, in wrestling, if you miss weight, you don't compete. Whereas in, you know, MMA, it's like, oh, you only lose 20%, but your opponent had to suffer so much more than you. So, yeah, I truly believe taking a point is very interesting. And I think it should be immediately taken, take a point away immediately. Yeah. I, I think weight cut is very, very important. I feel like in the past, I've seen some people go in and, and it's like they didn't even try, you know, like losing weight by, missing weight by eight pounds. Like, that's ridiculous. I think, I think, uh... I think personally they should lose 10%, I don't know, per half pound. <laughs> I, I, I feel like, I feel like, you know, per half, half pound, because it does make a huge difference, you know, like especially in my division where we're so small, to not make the last two pounds, you know, that's huge. For me, those last two pounds are, can, can, you know, drain me completely, you know, and if I don't do it right and, and if I don't have to cut those last two pounds, Man, I feel amazing. So I really think like a 10% for half a pound would be would be something they should do just because, uh, you know, missing weight by eight pounds, five pounds, that's ridiculous. So those are all great ideas, but I think the biggest um, incentive will be the money. I feel like you take 50% of weight away from somebody's purse, I feel like they're gonna be like, shit, like they're gonna take the weight cut a lot more serious. So um, I like that idea, but um, maybe like, I don't know, they do like weight certifications for, for high school wrestlers. Maybe we can do something like that. Cause I, I I don't like cutting weight either. I fucking hate it, but it's everyone's doing it, so you got to do it. Like if I didn't cut weight, I'd be fighting at, at welterweight, and there's no shot I'm fighting at welterweight. First of all, yeah, that that's you know it has to be something that fighters have to know. It's their responsibility. We got to make weight. We have no other choice, and we know about that months prior to a fight. So I understand there are many guys that don't have the knowledge and don't have the support they need but they have the, the opportunity to look for it. And the UFC, especially in the UFC, you know, they give uh, a lot of uh, people opportunities. They put, the UFC PI has a lot of staff that can help all the fighters with that. So I think that if you took out a point, you know, from the fighter, that would definitely make them, uh -huh. it, it would be harder for them to not make weight. And I see in some, in some situations, maybe guys even, don't make weight on, weight on purpose because they know it's just going to be 20 percent of their of their purse maybe they don't need it that much at that point a win uh, is going to propel them up or in the division and sometimes it's, it's worth it for them if they have that uh less point in the beginning it's going to be harder with that original flow head kicks with the pros picks up the fights or anything in the mix getting closer to the heart of the flame bringing conversations with heavy hitting names you feel the love of the game